So we're back and in this video we're gonna look at two more graphs that represents uh, what we were talking about in the last video and we're gonna rediscover why this graph that we went through in the last video is the kind of graph we want to always see. So in this graph you can see that we still have a marginal benefit uh, intersecting a marginal cost curve but uh, we're gonna look at this point which I'm tracing right now where burgers are being produced at a quantity of 1.5 million burgers so we can see that at this point our marginal benefit is 4 and our marginal cost is 2 so marginal benefit exceeds marginal cost so we would make more burgers because the benefit of an additional burger made uh, it exceeds the cost of uh, additional burger made so in our perspective or for the people in this situation in their perspective they will get more benefit from one more burger than it will cost them for one more burger so re remember that the best point uh, of production would be at 2.5 million burgers well right now we're only making 1.5 million so marginal benefit is greater than marginal cost when burgers produces less than 2.5 million and when this happens we will get more value we get more value from our resources from resources by producing more burgers by making more burgers more burgers so on the PPF point A we are producing too much bar it's better to make move along PPF to make more burgers so let's just go back to our graph and look at this again so uh, let's imagine that these points are A, B, C, D, E, and F so at point A here we are all we're producing is bars so on this PPF at point A we are producing too, too much energy bars and we are better off moving along the curve, moving down the curve, moving down the PPF curve to produce more pizzas. Now let's look at the second graph. The second graph is where marginal cost exceeds marginal benefit. So marginal cost is at 4 now and marginal benefit is at 2. So in this situation we are producing 3.5 million burgers and that is much greater than uh, our, our optimal amount that we should produce 2.5 million burgers so the marginal cost so the cost of making one more one more burger exceeds the benefit that we get from that one burger for that from that one additional burger so marginal cost exceeds marginal benefit so we make less burgers and we make less when so when burgers produced is uh, greater than 2.5 million marginal cost exceeds marginal benefit and so we get more value we get more value more value from resources from resources by producing by producing fewer burgers So, uh, so on the PPF, when we look at point F, we are producing too many burgers. Better to move along PPF to make fewer burgers. So let's just go back to our graph and see how that looks like. So this is point F. So all we're creating or all we're making is burgers. We're not even making any bars. So in this situation, marginal costs will exceed marginal benefit and it's better it's better for us to move back up along the PPF curve so then um, so then we could get more value from our resources by producing fewer burgers and I guess we're gonna look at the last graph we're gonna go back to our graph that we presented in the beginning so the burgers produced when when we produce uh, the quantity of burgers that are equal to 2.5 million or when we're producing 2.5 million burgers exactly the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost and in this situation we cannot get any more value from our resources so on the PPF uh, we are producing the efficient quantities of 
burgers and bars when we are producing a, a quantity of 2.5 million burgers um, for our situation. So going back to our graph, we'll be producing at the optimal, the optimal, uh, we'll produce, we'll, well, we'll have allocative efficiency when we're producing at 2.5 million burgers. So I guess at this point we'll be producing at an efficient quant we will be producing we will be producing at efficient quantities of bars and burgers so yeah i think that's all i want to teach you guys for this uh video and uh please rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and again uh if you again i want to know if you guys like it when i uh, when I just write out all the definitions and concepts before I present it or if you guys prefer me to uh, write uh, Write out the concepts and definitions while I'm recording I only write them up beforehand before I'm before I'm recording because I want to I want to save you guys time to Well time to do some some other crap instead of watching these tutorials to learn, but yeah, just Give me, leave me a comment and uh, maybe I'll change my ways. Uh, again, please rate, comment, and subscribe and uh, see you next time.